first of McDonnell Douglas's Boeing from 1997 Hornet upgrade concepts to reach fruition is the FA-18E Super Hornet. The first FA-18E made its maiden flight in November 1995 and the first aircraft was formally accepted into service with VFA-122 on January 15, 1999. The avionics upgrade is centered on the Raytheon APG-73 radar as already fitted to late versions of the FA-18C. The integrated defensive electronic countermeasures system has three major elements, an ALR67V3RWR, ALQ214 radio frequency countermeasures system, and AL55 fiber optic tow decoy system. The cockpit of the FA-18E is similar to that of the FA-18C with the exception of a larger flat panel display in place of the current three head-down displays. The enlarged airframe incorporates measures to reduce radar cross-section and includes a fuselage lengthened by 0.86 meters, an enlarged wing characterized by a thicker section, two more hard points, enlarged leading edge root extensions, and horizontal and vertical tail surfaces. The Super Hornet also has a structure extensively redesigned to reduce weight and cost without sacrificing its strength. The FA-18E-F also features a new quadruplex digital fly-by-wire control system without the Hornet's mechanical backup system. The FA-18F Super Hornet is the two-seat development of the FA-18E, with the rear cockpit equipped with the same displays as the front cockpit and otherwise configured for alternative combat or training roles. The U.S. Navy had originally planned to procure a total of 1,000 Super Hornets, but in 1997 the total was reduced to 548. Any delay in the service debut of the JSF to a time later than 2008-10, however, will see the number of Super Hornets rise to 748. AFA 18 FC squared W electronic combat variant has been proposed as replacement for the Grumman EA-6B Prowler. This will be capable of both active jammings as well as lethal suspension of enemy aid defense.